is Claire from the Atlanta County Library in Hamilton, and today we're going to do jigsaw puzzle crafts because we've all got a jigsaw puzzle somewhere in our house that's missing pieces that we're sure we're going to find the missing pieces for, and we never do. So now you have something you can make out of them. We're going to, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a picture frame. Um, to start off with, you're going to need a flat, unfinished wooden picture frame, either from the dollar store, which is where this one came from, or if you live near an Ikea, you can do it there. You're going to need regular glue, you're going to need puzzle pieces, you're going to need paint, and then you're going to need either glitter glue or glitter. So the first thing you do is you paint the frame. You can use craft paint, you can use wall paint, you can use a spray paint. The sample I did was made with spray paint because it was easier, but this one I used just regular craft paint. So then you take your puzzle pieces. This was a puzzle of candy, so the pieces are kind of different. And then you lay out your first level. And once you decide that you like where they are, you take your glue. You can use hot glue, but I prefer to use washable Elmer's because it's, you're going to get it all over your hands. You put the glue on the back generously, and then you put it on the frame. And then you keep going until you have the first level done. On average, you're probably going to want to do three levels because it fills in the spaces between the puzzle pieces nicely. And you can put them on any which way you want. You can have them hang over the edge. You can have them do whatever. Now, once you get everything glued on and the first layer down, you're going to have to let it dry because when you try to glue on top of them, the bottom layer will move around. So you're going to do that for three layers. And when you're done, it's going to look something like this. And what you do next is after it's completely dried, you either take your regular glue and regular glitter, or you take the glitter glue, and you use a small paintbrush. And you brush it evenly over the puzzle pieces. And if you're using the regular glitter, then you, sh you shake on the regular glitter, let it dry, you know, get the extra off. If you use the glitter glue, which is what I did on this, you don't have anything to shake off, but if you want it more glittery than this, use the regular glue and the regular glitter. Another thing you can do with puzzle pieces is you can make magnets or pins out of them. Um, what you do is you find four pieces, four or five pieces that are stuck together, which is what I did with these. And you take an old Christmas card, an old birthday card, and you cut out a piece for the back. What that does is it, if the glue starts to fail between the pieces, it holds it together till you can re-glue it. And you do the same thing. You build up layers. This one has two. I have one at home, which I couldn't find today, that has three or four. And then you take, these are wooden, but you, if you have little tiny plastic flat back figurines, you can glue them on. Or you can just glue on, paint some wooden things up and glue them on. Once it's all dry, again, you paint the glue on with a paintbrush, you sprinkle glitter. These were done with the regular glue and the regular glitter. When you're finished and they're all dry and you don't, your fingers don't stick to them anymore, stick either a pin back or a magnet, one of those peel and stick magnets on the back, and then you have a magnet for your refrigerator or you have a pin that you can wear. The other thing that you can do with them, which I don't have a sample of, is you cut out a circle about so big, out of cardboard with the hole cut in the middle. It looks like a wreath. And then you glue the puzzle pieces on. Then you spray paint the whole thing green. And then you add little beads and a hanger, and you've got a Christmas tree ornament wreath. The directions, this is our grab and grow craft at Hamilton, and the directions include the directions for the pins, the magnets, and the ornaments. So if you want one and you can't get out to see us, just give us a call and we'll email you the directions. Have fun, stay safe, and thanks for watching.